What's up guys? So today I'm going to do a little tutorial and show you guys how to make your t-shirt mock-ups look a little bit more professional. I'll show you the exact template that I use for L3's t-shirt designs and I'll show you where I got it from and uh, I'll just show you really quick step by step how to add your designs to it and what the finished product looks like. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. To get the actually let me show you what the template looks like real quick. So when you download it and it's a Photoshop template. So when you download it and open it up, the front's going to look something like this and the back will look like that. Um once you apply your your uh, design to it, it will look obviously I mean here's an example of a an L3 design that we're working on. So here's the front. You can add your little custom tag to it if you want or whatever else you want to. You can change the t-shirt color, you know, add your design, the front. Here's the back. You can uh, edit the background if you want to. Change that up however you like. But like I said, when you originally download it, this is what it's going to look like. It'll actually have a little wood grain background. You can delete that or keep it, whatever you want to do. With that said, let's see. All right, I'll show you where to get it from. So open up your web browser and go to graphicburger.com. You see it at the top? I'll put a link in the description as well. So once you get there, we're going to click on the little search icon and you'll type in t-shirt mock, whoops, t-shirt mock-up. And once that loads, you're going to scroll down a little bit and it will be the one at the bottom left. That's the one we'll be working with today. Let's go ahead and click on that. And once that opens up, you're going to, you can see this is the uh, wood grain background I was talking about. So that's what it comes with. Uh, if you want to use that, you can. Anyway, so go to the bottom or scroll down a little bit to this green download button. Click on that. And once that downloads, once that finishes downloading, minimize that, open up Photoshop, and then open up the file in Photoshop. It will be called t-shirt mockup underscore front dot PSD, and then the back one will be t-shirt mockup back. So open both of those up. And once you do, I'll sh run you through the basics of editing it real quick. So it's pretty self-explanatory. They did a, whoever made the template, shout out to them. They did a really good job with it as far as uh, it being easy to use and looking professional. Um, when you want to add your design, all you do is it's going to say your design here. So you double click on that. And that's going to open up this little box right here. So whatever design you want to use, and it, it actually says replace me too. So like I said, they did a really good job with it. Um, you can hide that, delete it, whatever you want to do. You can turn on the safe area if you want to. That kind of shows, helps you with the, uh, the margins of the shirt. But so yeah. Um, you can either open Illustrator and drag your artwork in from there to Photoshop or you can open it up in Photoshop and drag it in. I'll go ahead and do that. Let me, let's find a design to bring in here real quick. Let's see. Alright, so I'm just going to actually steal the design from this shirt over here. So we'll start with the front and grab this so we'll take this one and drag it to our mock-up whoops drag it to this layer and drop it right there hide that one and then align it however you want to you don't have to worry about the size yet once you align it it doesn't really matter, honestly, if you align it. Just make sure that the uh, the logo is within the little area right here. Then go to the top, save it. This little box will pop up. Just hit OK and then cancel. And then go back to the mock-up. So at the front, 
and then you'll see it, it popped up on the front. And then from there, you can drag it to wherever you want to on the shirt. Obviously, depending on what size it is, you'll probably want to change that for this specific design. This logo is way too big, so we're going to go up here to edit, hit edit, go down to transform, scale, okay. Hold down the shift and just put it wherever you want to. Scale it to whatever size you want. Um, put it wherever you want to, that's fine for now. Hit enter, cancel, and there you go. So you got your front logo now. Um, and now we will do, actually let me show you this real quick as well. So if you wanna change the background, like I said, this mock-up comes with the little wood grain um, background. I already deleted that. And if you want to just change, once you delete it, it will just be gray like you see here. But if you want to change that, you go down to where it says place background image here. You can either throw in whatever image you want to if you got a background you want to use. If you just want to make it a specific color, right click on that, hit blending options. Go down to color overlay, or you can make it gradient if you want to. and then hit the little plus button, click on the color, and you can switch to whatever you want to. We're gonna use white for this little demonstration, but like I said, you can change to whatever you want to. Once you got that, we'll do the back side now. You're gonna see at the top it says badge. Actually, I have two over here. So one of them is going to be from this shirt and the other one will be from the mock-up we're working on right now. Go ahead and close this out and actually close this out because we don't need it anymore at the moment. So we'll go back to the back. Once again, you'll look for where it says your design here. Double click on that and you'll see the little design that they have for the back. So you can hide that and then like I said, go to Illustrator, either drag your artwork in or open it up in Photoshop. For this, we're just going to go ahead and steal the design again. So I will open this up and actually have two layers. Hold on one second. All right, so steal both of these, drag them to. drag them to the badge, drop it, align it however you want to. I always like to center them. Honestly, like I said, it doesn't really matter because you can change it once you do put it on the design. Just make sure, like I said, it fits in the little box and then hit enter. And then save it real quick. And once you save it, go back to the, at the top, go back to the uh, back mockup, and you'll see it is dropped on your shirt. So once again, we need to edit the size. So we'll go up to edit, transform, scale. Okay, hold down shift. And make it a little bit smaller. It gets whatever size you like. Once you get it to a size that you are comfortable with. That's good for now. Hit enter, cancel, and there you go. Now you got the back. There's a lot of other, actually we'll go ahead and change the background real quick so it matches the white from the front. So right click on that, blending options. Go down to color overlay. It's already white from the last time from the front. Click OK, and now you got a white background. If you don't want the background, you can just hide it. Or if you are, if you want the background to be transparent, you can hide it. If not, like I said, change to whatever you want. And now we'll, let's see, now we'll mess with the t-shirt color a little bit. 
So you may notice it says change t-shirt color here. Pretty self-explanatory. You'll double click that and this little box will pop up. Once that pops up, just click on the color and you can change it to whatever you want to. We'll go with that for now and go ahead and copy that, click OK, and we'll make the front the same color. So we're going to go up to double click change t shirt color, copy, paste, and now we got the same color on the back and the front. If you want to change the color of your logo, if you're not too familiar with Photoshop and you want to change the color of your logo once you uh, put it on your design, you just need to go back to the badge or if you closed it out, say you closed it out at the top already, just click, double click on the, your design here and it will pop right back up. And if you want to edit the color, either put a gradient on it or change the color. We already have the color overlay, but if you don't, right click blending options go down once again to the color overlay make sure that checkbox is checked and then hit the plus button and change to whatever color you want um, let's see let's go with like a lime green all right so we'll use that color hit ok and then Make sure once you change to whatever color you want it to be, you save it again. Hit OK. Cancel. And then go back, check it out to make sure everything looks good. Now you got the lime green on the navy blue, so we'll change, edit the back as well. If you already closed out of the badge, like I said, open it back up. And then, whoops, wrong one. Double click there opens back up so this specific design on the back has two layers obviously whichever layer if it's only one layer put the over the uh, color overlay on whichever layer you want to edit so let's see for this one we'll mess with this layer make it the same that same lime green boom 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 now make sure you save it Okay, cancel. Now we'll check it out. All right, looks good. So yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, there's not really too much else to explain as far as this specific template goes. Whoever uh, designed it or created it included a shadows overlay, so you'll notice if you you can turn that on or off and you can see on the uh, design right here that'll obviously if you turn it on it will just add some shadows to it and make the shirt look like uh, there will just be shadows where the wrinkles are so I mean you can depending on what you like obviously you can turn that on or off what else let's see there's also the little drop shadow that goes around the shirt that is right here so you can turn that on or off yeah that's about it it's pretty self-explanatory it's a really good template this is what I use for my personal brand L3 highly recommend it really easy to use in my opinion it looks professional it looks really good everything like I said is pretty self-explanatory all right, so real quick, one last thing that I want to show you guys before I go ahead and end this video is how to put your own custom tags on the t-shirt, if that's what you want to do. If you do, open up your tag file, either import it into, or open it up in Photoshop, import it from Illustrator, whatever you want to do. For this example, I'll go back to this design and grab this tag. So let's see. We grab this tag, dra drag it over to our mock up, and 
drop it right there. Make sure that the tag layer is right below your design layer so it shows up how it should. And then chances are whenever you drag it in you're going to have to erase a little bit so that it looks natural, something like this. So if you're familiar with Photoshop, you already know how to do that. If you're not, you just go over here to the little eraser tool, click on that, and then erase whatever you need to until it looks good. And that's pretty much all there is to that. You can also, if you want to, change the color of that the same way you change the color of your logos. Just add a little color overlay. All right guys, so with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this tutorial. I think I pretty much covered everything. If you guys got any questions, go ahead and drop them below and I'll try and help you out. If not, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Stay limitless. Take a shot, you've got everything you'll ever need. You've